Monday Night Football, we got the Seattle Seahawks at the Detroit Lions. Seattle is undefeated, and they've won eight of their last nine versus Detroit. Do the bookmakers have the wrong team favored here? We're going to talk about it, but before we do, i got to tell you about a promotion we have available right now at wagertalk.com. For a limited time, you can get 90 days, all sports, all access, at regular price of $8.49, and we'll throw in 30 days additionally absolutely free. This is the best time of year to take advantage of this offer because it will get you the rest of the college football, the rest of the NFL, the rest of the baseball, the first half of the NBA, college hoops, and NHL. And with guys like myself, you'll even get the occasional CFL or soccer play. Um, this is available for any of your favorite handicappers at wagertalk.com. And if your favorite handicapper at Wager Talk isn't this guy right here, you hit me up in the comments below. Let me know what I got to do to change your mind. As always, there's no purchase necessary. You're more than welcome to tune in just for the free content. The only thing I ask from you is that you take the time to smash that like button, and that will allow me to keep on putting out these free picks. Now let's get into it. The Lions are a three and a half point favorite. Total sits at 46 and a half. A uh, little bit odd, the Lions being only a three and a half point favorite, considering how highly touted this Detroit team was coming into the season. And the total of 46 and a half looks a little low considering last year's game between these two teams. I did mention that Seattle has won eight of the last nine in this series. Of course, you got to toss out anything with the Lions uh, prior to the to a few years ago because for, for decades, this Detroit team was the laughing stock of the NFL. But since then, Dan Campbell has something cooking uh, with Jared Goff and, and the current Lions era. Um, last year, Seattle came in and won 37 to 31 in overtime. Nice win for Seattle there, but that game was a little bit misleading. The reason Seattle was able to win that game was that uh, the Lions turned the ball over three times. They lost the turnover battle three to nothing. Uh, when you give the other team three turnovers and you don't bring any back to your side, you're not going to win too many football games. And I don't think. The Seahawks can count on winning the turnover battle like that here tonight. Uh, Jared Goff threw for 323 yards, three touchdowns, and a pick in last year's game. And uh, he's facing what is now the number one ranked NFL defense against the pass in the Seattle Seahawks. They're only allowing 132 passing yards per game, and they have 11 sacks in their first three games. But guess what? You look at who they've played. They played uh, Miami without Tua. They played uh, New England. And they played a rookie quarterback in Denver, the Denver Broncos. They've had a pretty soft schedule, so we're not going to read too much into their 3-0 start. And those numbers against the pass, I mean, they faced a backup quarterback in Jacoby Brissett. I know he's the starter in New England, but really he's a backup throughout his career. Bo Nix is a rookie, and Skylar Thompson um, – a guy that probably belongs on the practice squad. So, uh, you know, when you're facing that kind of quarterback quality, you're going to have some nice numbers against the pass. But now they're facing the Lions in the Dome, Jared Goff behind a stout offensive line with weapons all over the place in a revenge game after winning in overtime last year. I think this one's pretty easy to figure out. I like the Lions and I like Jared Goff to light up this supposed number one ranked pass defense. So the Lions minus three and a half, Jared Goff over one and a half touchdowns. If you like this video, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel. And if you got anything to say to me, even if it's nasty, hit me up in the comments below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can.